2022 guys i don't know if you guys can see that oh my gosh let me switch it off then 2022 so yeah it's 2022 i am back oh uh, wow if i just slid across like that 2022 okay so let me actually turn it off it looks really bad on camera Okay, so guys, it is 2022. Um, this is my first video for the year. Um, I last left you guys in October of 2021. I literally was posting um, for that Halloween week and then I just gone. But 2022, what am I doing? What am I up to? Uh, this, I think I should give you guys a life update since then. Um, so what happened in November? November, what was in November? Not much was in November except exams, obviously. And then December, December was pretty, I don't know, a lot of people in like the whole of South Africa in general were complaining that December didn't feel like a December. And I know what they mean. It felt like just like another month. Like people were not going out. It didn't have that energy that vibe of a december and then you get to january and i turn 21 i celebrated my 21st 21st birthday i'm one of those people who has the birthday so early on in the year that you basically just sit through the rest of the year until you get to the following year so i'm waiting for 2023 now so yeah, I turned 21, the big two one. I haven't celebrated it yet with my friends because I'm still on my way to Cape Town. Like as you're watching this video, this will probably be like a day or two before I leave for Cape Town. But like, yeah. Um, yeah, I celebrated my 21st birthday. And then February, February is when mid-Feb, what's the date today? The 15th, the 16th, I think. It's the 15th or the 16th and not much is happening though i think um the most that has happened is that i am in third year now huh talk to me nicely i'm in third year wow it was a journey started in 2020 2020 covid hit and then it was online schooling and now we're going back to campus oh the transition like learning like 2020 2021 learned online after like they announced in march oh we're going into lockdown um now i'm going back on to campus i don't know how to feel i'm already in third year i feel like i lost first year and second year experiences i think i'm gonna make up for them this um this year um yes i'm registered school school has actually started it started on the 14th which is monday but it's it's been kind of slow because people are still registering right you know <sighs> beginning of the year getting everything sorted is quite difficult so yeah I'm going back to cape town on friday arriving there on saturday which is such a small time frame because on the saturday i'm gonna vlog it actually for you guys it's um one of my good friends birthday she's also turning 21 she's like me um our birthdays are like three no like two we're two days apart literally because she's the first of feb and i'm the 29th of january so yeah um besides that we have grown wow the garden is sprouting more flowers um yeah we've actually grown very much on this channel and i'll actually like insert a clip of like um that tube buddy sent me was it last year i think of like my analytics and stuff and when i actually looked at them i was like wow like i've done a lot like oh wow who could have thought and there's obviously um the amount of subscribers went up like we started off the year with like 100 and something subscribers and then we finished off with like 200 and something but like even though there's only like 200 and something subscribers our views went up by like 
plus 18k from the 270 people plus 18k and um and remember the previous year i was only like getting like a thousand views in a year so to get 18k now like that is like i didn't only just do this i did this literally and um what else is there um uh, yeah people have been watching my videos more often now um i remember i celebrated there was there was a time that i celebrated that video thank you for 1000 views that video now is like on 8.8.6 or 8.7 thousand views and then even more videos now have over a thousand views and i'm just like people are watching my stuff people are actually watching my stuff and they're actually liking it because like i get a lot of comments and people asking me stuff on that on those videos and it's actually it's, it's it's a confidence booster knowing that people are actually engaging with your videos to the point that they ask you questions so oh yeah that happened our channel grew and i'm so proud of it oh my gosh but i think besides the numbers right besides the numbers of like having oh this much subscribers this much views this much likes i think a big part that i took away from youtube in 2021 was like finding my own youtube voice and i feel like a lot of okay when i started youtube right i started in uh oh uh, it's like when 2020 hit beginning pre pre pandemic and everything right um i posted a video i think in january 2020 before i left for varsity from Joburg to cape town right i posted a video and then i sort of didn't post anymore and then i was just like there we go and then i actually posted i started posting more when i came back home to Joburg because it was like there was a period of like schools were like oh what are we gonna do um we have learners that need to learn but we don't know how we're going to transition from on campus to all the way to um online so there's the period where like i just sat at home did nothing and i was like let me pick up my youtube videos again so in 2020 i guess like when i was starting off i started off sort of looking at like the big youtubers seeing what they're doing and trying to like mimic or like yeah trying to mimic what they were doing and i feel that when i watch those videos back now i'm like oh i'm so cringe like you can see like that's not my real personality and the big thing from that is that in 2021 i was able to sort of find yeah find my youtube voice find what works for me how i engage with my subscribers when you start off youtube you sort of see the people who are sort of like in your range in your space and you see like what they are doing because you're like oh for them to have these numbers that they they must be doing something right and it's kind of intimidating coming into space where people are already established sorry established and you're like oh i'm this youtuber please watch me i only have 100 subs but i promise i'm fun like it's 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 hard doing that so yeah 2021 was like a big step towards the rest of my youtube career and i started i can say that i found my love for youtube again because I, f I feel that in 2020 i was sort of pushing out videos to push out the numbers i was like okay maybe i only have 50 50 subscribers because of this 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 or because i started oh, i started from like the bottom from the pits like i started putting out videos when i only had i think two subscribers or so so when i started i was literally at the bottom of the bottom 
I didn't even have like a large audience in my everyday life to push my content to I think it would have been better if I had started my YouTube channel in high school because then I would have like recruited everyone and be like give me a phone subscribe to my channel you know but like it was varsity and I was just getting to know new people so it was kind of hard for me to get that first that first base of like subscribers so yeah I was pushing out videos for that I had only two subscribers when he went up to 50 subscribers I was like ah um when I hit that hundred mark I was like oh my gosh people are watching my YouTube channel oh it's, it's, it's been a long journey it's been a long journey and it's going to be an even longer journey because um when you're watching this video it'll be March I'm recording in February but it's going to be March and the reason that I'm doing that is because I want to be more consistent i don't just want to say that i want to be more consistent i actually want to be more consistent so i'm going to be giving you guys something that i've never done which is vlogs and it, like the thing is that princess I, I think you guys know princess on this channel already like she sponsors so much equipment for this channel um last year I told you when I bought that ring light that um, she gave me birthday money and then I bought the ring light that I was filming with, right? Now, this year, she gave me this. <laughs> and then I will show you guys the, um, the vlogging kit that she bought me because as I'm looking at it, there's a microphone, there's the light, there's a place where I put my phone and there's like... The grip where I can hold it so now we will be able to do vlogs on this channel hi <laughs> okay guys are you seeing this full thing that this thing even fell out I don't know what it is are you seeing this <laughs> and the lighting patch the battery oh my gosh and our first vlog will probably be um oh I don't know should my first vlog be the ooh, my friend's 21st or me now going to Cape Town after two years? Wow, it's been two years, dude. It's been two years since I saw any of my friends, like any. We've just been talking, video calling, and that's it. So it'll be quite a shock to the system to see them again. Um... What can I say for 2022? I feel like 2022, I wrote down my resolutions. And I know that we hardly ever stick to our resolutions when we're like, um, new year, new me. But I feel that for this year, I really want to stick to them because I have goals. And I don't want to end this year being like, oh, I had goals, but I didn't reach them. Or I didn't make an effort to even strive towards them so yeah big part of that is even if I don't make it to those goals at least putting in the effort to go towards them and one of those goals is growing our channel growing the the the, the silver daisies channel growing the garden putting in more work because I feel that I can't keep doing this. I can't keep going. Like, when did I post? October. So, November, December, January, February. Didn't post anything for four months. And I feel that that's not only unfair onto you guys. It is unfair onto myself. Like, future me. When I look back and I'm like, oh, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do this? So, yeah, I want to... Uh, I don't want to stay stagnant for 2022 because i feel like 2020 2021 there was a lot of um not progressing towards the things that i wanted because of like the whole situation that was happening but this year i literally have no excuse if i want something i need to go get it i need to go fetch it like with my handbag me and my handbag are going to going there even though it's tiny i'm going to go get the bag i'm going so yeah and i also bought this bag i'm gonna 
such a pretty bag what am i doing this writing um yeah i'm gonna be giving guys a she in haul i bought that's why i literally say i don't want to be disappointed by myself this year because i bought stuff from she in told myself i'm gonna shoot you guys a beautiful haul and i did not and my clothes already arrived by like was it december yeah they arrived by december so i had all this time to shoot you guys a she in haul but i didn't so yeah that is basically what has happened in my life what i'm striving towards i'm striving towards a lot of things some things i don't want to say on camera too quickly because um you, I feel like there is that sort of embarrassment that everyone gets when you say to people, I'm going to do this, and then it doesn't work out, and then people sort of ask you, like, so what happened? And you're like, mm, well, oh. Talk about that, actually. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I left this out in what happened in 2021. I entered the um, Nevio Skin Fluencer um thingy challenge and whatever and i was like really really wanting to get in and i remember i told everybody go like my picture on is go like my video sorry go like my video on, is on instagram oh guys i entered and i put so much effort into that video and i was looking forward so much to telling you guys that I was, I was literally planning what I'm gonna tell you guys that oh I got I am um, Nivea's I am part of Nivea's skin influences but then it didn't happen like 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 guys it was such like a big disappointment because I didn't even get into the top 50 <laughs> and I was literally because I was one of the people who yeah, we take it so long to reply to i think that should have been my first sign like, oh, this girl doesn't want to leave but like i was sending emails like oh there's something wrong with the um what is that is that part of my phone no word i don't know what that is okay so sorry um yeah i was sending emails like hey i think my email my video doesn't want to go through please help me and then they would help me but then i didn't even make it to top 50. Mm. um i don't know who is in top like there's there's 10 of them i don't know who made it through though i really don't know but yeah we move i was hurt that day i was really hurt uh, when they announced it i you know when you scroll past up because they put out the names and then i was like okay and then I went through and I was like, mm. and I was like, maybe I didn't see it properly. And I was like scrolling through again. And I was like, mm. and I was like maybe you didn't even let me try again that <laughs> time. So yeah. Um, but I've, I've, I got over it. I got over it really. Because I even told my family, dude, like, when I tell my family, I'm really, when I tell my family something, I'm really serious about it. So the fact that I like didn't make it, it was like, at least top 50, man. It would have been a confidence booster, even there even at top 50 i didn't even have to go to top 30 but i wasn't even chosen like ooh, wow we we made it through second year oh my gosh <laughs> i thought i was gonna die i really thought i was gonna I, I really thought there was a time where i thought to myself no that is that module <laughs> but then i passed and i even got a, a a senior merit award and i was like yeah still got this one i still got this oh my gosh yeah um this year i want to do better do do better as a whole as like spiritually um physically because i feel like physically i feel oh, guys yesterday you know i was cleaning the house and you know that deep clean like that real deep clean and i woke up this morning i'm like why is my body sore and then it clicked to me ah okay because because i was cleaning yesterday like literally i have had 
no sort of any physical activity since I left since the last time I left cross country in high school and when was that like two three years ago and I feel a lot of it is owed to the fact of the pandemic Yo, Asan, it really messed me over like sometimes I would try exercising but it wouldn't last more than a week two weeks at most so this year I really not just to like have like a great shape but to be like fit like to not when I walk out the door I'm already <laughs> yo it's been rough it's been rough oh, yeah. you walk to some places and you just you feel the sweat dripping down your back it's like it's been it's been rough it's been tough so yeah I want to spiritually physically what else academically youtubely um do better for myself i want to i want to see i want to see progress in my life like i'm in my 20s now like back then i was in my teens and whatever last year i was 20 okay but now i'm 21 like i need to be setting the foundation for the rest of my life you get me you get me so yeah this is silver daisies this is my life update my welcome into 2022 i really hope that you guys after seeing this video are motivated you guys are motivated to do better for yourselves so maybe not even the self that you are right now but the self that you know that you will be in six months in one year so when you look back you don't have regrets okay bye